My name is Ilya Smirin. I am 46 years old from Israel. Where were you born and which city do you live in now? I was born in Vitebsk, it's uh, Belarus, when it was part of Soviet Union, motherland of Mark Chagall, home city of uh, Mark Chagall. And now I live in Kvarsaba, it's a city in Israel, not far from Tel Aviv. And when did you actually move over to move to Israel and, and why? Well, I moved in 1991. Why? It was a lot of several reasons, I would say. But it was always interesting for me uh, to live in Israel because I love this country and I heard quite a lot about it when I was a child and so I experienced a new life. In the, in the age of 23, I think, yeah, I started to experience new life. Going back to the start of your chess career, at what age did you learn the moves and who taught you? I think about seven years old, my father taught, uh, taught me the moves because chess was extremely popular and right now it's still popular in Russia and it was extremely popular in Soviet Union. And my father, he is quite a weak player, but he loved to play chess and he just saw that, showed me a few moves. And after one year he brought me to the chess club when I can start it in group with chess coach. His name was Lev Pak and Lev Meltzer too, actually, two Levs. <laughs> and uh, after I came uh, back from, first from my first lesson in this uh, chess club, we played with father a few games and he, he beat me up again. He told, it will be a lot of times that he will start to win against me. But in one month we played again a couple of games, I win him. He was very disappointed. I don't think we ever played again. <laughs> And, of course, this is an incredible chess culture in the Soviet Union. Did you feel as though chess was very, very important in Soviet society? Yeah, I would say so. It was a very honorable uh, pro uh, occupation, I would say. Even master of, master of sport, it was valued quite high. I don't say, don't speak about grandmaster, it was like, I don't know. Not like, oh, okay, so of course it was like seven, eight times less than modern days grandmasters, I mean, in numbers. But uh, it, it was really good attitude towards chess players. Who was your chess hero when you were first learning the game? Was there one great player who you looked up to? Actually, Mikhail Tyler, I think most. I liked him most because, first of all, it's partly because I, one of the first books, it was Fire on the Board of, by Mikhail Tal and Yakov Damsky when I started it. And Tal was famous. And after I grew older, more experienced, I would say, I also liked him because I, I touched, um, I wrote a lot about him and I knew him personally. I, we even played one once. And I can say that I admire him most. He and Leonid Stein, actually. Not very well known in the West, probably Grandmaster, but he was excellent. and beautiful player with excellent results, three times champion of uh, Soviet Union and he, unfortunately he tragically, no, no, he dead very young, it's 37 years old I think. So Mikhail Tal and Leonid Stein probably was my main chess heroes. You're a chess professional, how is it being a chess professional and living in Israel? Well, I don't know, it's okay, not something special I would say, but I don't complain. Because there is a big chess culture in Israel as well. In Israel, you know, it's Israel not such a big culture. Now it became bigger because actually chess is uh, very was very popular among Jews in, in all over the world, but not especially in, in Israel. In Israel, it was a little bit different. But now I think chess gained more popularity also in Israel. Do you think chess has helped you in other aspects of your life? Have you learned something from chess? I don't know, but def I would say probably yes. I'm not. I don't know for sure, but probably yes because chess. You know, first of all, thanks to chess, I, I saw the world. I saw a lot of people, a lot of different countries, different cultures, and also uh, okay, logical thinking, all this stuff. It's evident. It's obvious. Also, chess probably took something away from me. Also, maybe I don't know <laughs> because it demands. That's interesting. What exactly did chess take away? No, it demands a lot of energy. It demands a lot of mental uh, mental resources from you and. Maybe it's not enough, sometimes it's lacks to other stuff.
I don't know, it's just I generally, I'm saying just general things, not something concrete. If you hadn't been a professional chess player, what profession might you have gone into? It's hard to say. I wanted to be an actor and movie actor when I was a child and uh, some other stuff, some other things, uh, hard to say. But uh, something uh, creative, I would say, because I like, uh, I, what, what else just gives me, me I think, very, is what is very good, that I don't need to wake up every day, 8 o'clock in the morning and go to the work. So I like some, some creative works and chess is definitely creative. So of course much more pros than cons in chess, in my opinion. Some console, of course, also have, has place to be.